Hi, hello everyone, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use webcomfort file to store your connection string and how to use your connection string that you added in your webcomfort file inside your application. And in a small brief, your connection string is just bunches of XML tags that contains all the main settings and configuration for your whole web application, of course, using ASP.NET. And connection string hold you can add it in connection strings tag inside with config file. And of course it's connection strings mean you can add a lot more than one connection string. And if you open it, you will find connection strings tag already open and exist. And if it's not open and if it's not exist, you can simply add it, no problem. And you'll find also a default connection string that will be ready to use uh, in inside your web application. But we need to add our own custom, our own custom connection string. So simply open a new tag, and then hit add, and then name. And name is your unique identifier name that should be used inside your application. So, be careful to choose it properly and to remember. Anyway, we will name this as local local string. Alright. And then we have another, our main property or main attribute, which is connection string. And this tutorial, I'm, I will not focus much on what is connection string, but I'm assuming that you know properly what is connection string. So, which is, I will choose a very simple name, and of course, my local, local string. And of course, this is not the proper connection string that you would, that you have to use it inside your application. No, it's not proper, just, just a random name. And then provide a name. I would assume that you're using the using SQL data to SQL point. So I will assume that you and of course if you're not using SQL database kind of MSQL, you have to change it to OL OLDB connection. OLEDB connection, sorry. <laughs> anyway. We will add another it's a connection string to our connection string collection, which is this thing. This time we will name it as server connection string. I will tell you exactly what is the purpose of server connection string. Server string, we call it a server string. And connection string, and of course, we will add a very random name, my server string. Again, it's not the proper connection string that you should use it. So don't write my local string, just in this tutorial is not show it to you. It's not for what is connection string is. And we will put it in the SQL point, no problem. So what is server connection string? It's simply this connection string that your hosting provider will give it to you after you upload your SQL files. So don't bother much what is server string, you will not do anything about it, you will be given it will be given to you. It will be given to you. So the server the hosting provider will give it to you. Don't copy and paste it here, no problem. So don't panic much, don't ask yourself or don't focus more on what what is server connection string is. Anyway, so now we will now we will We'll try to use our connection string that we will use it that we will put it sorry in our web config file. So and to use and to use a SQL point a SQL connection, of course you have to add these two ones. You have to include system the data and system the SQL point. So uh, I don't have to tell you that way. You know that of course SQL connection we will call it SQL whatever you want to name it, it's no problem okay and and in our <coughs> property uh, is post that property and 
of course you know what what is is post back anyway as uh, we will try to add we will try to use our um, we will try to add we will try to get our connection string from configuration file and to use any any property and any tags and to call any tags sorry configuration file you have to use configuration manager configuration manager class and to use configuration manager class you have to include you have to use system the system door configuration and, and then you will find connection string and here you will add you will type your your your, your connection string name so uh, we will copy and paste it in the next word and then connection string and then that's it that's all now now we retrieve now we call our connection string from our configuration file and put it to our connection string property side connection not side our SQL connection but we have a small problem it's not actually a problem it's a uh, it's time consuming thing if you have two if you have two connection string and every time you have to switch between this and that you have two scenarios you have you have two phases the first phase is you debugging testing building phase you know, the pages or the code that uh, on the testing on the bottom and the second phase is you back in after you finish and then you upload your website on the server so it's time consuming that every time you are under debugging or testing you switch back to from server string to your local string and then after you finish you switch it back again from local to server string it's time consuming especially if you have a lot of pages and I know if, you, if you're using webmaster page it will be much easier but it's not logic it's not logic it's not common thing that every time you switch back and forth from this to that so what I want, I want to do is <coughs> to check the difference between between the, the two scenarios and the main difference between two scenarios if it's not the only difference the main difference is your domain under testing on the bottom your domain is localhost and the back end and your back end your domain is your proper domain mydomain.com or mydomain.net whatever your name your domain name is so every time you have to check if your domain is localhost then you will you use your local string if your domain is mydomain.com then you will use your server connection string and it's very simple it's very easy just three four more lines of code and that's it so we will use request the URL the host name and host and host is just a string which is you can use contains method to check on local local host we believe of course you have tried to properly and I forgot <laughs> anyway so we will copy and paste it no problem sorry for that anyway and if contain if it contain local string, ah uh, man, sorry local host, local host. If it contain local host, means you have to use your local connection string. We will copy this one. And if request to your all the URL the host the contain the my domain com for example then we will use the other server the other string the other connection string which is server string so that's all this, this is all about it's very simple very easy 
and that's it so you don't have every time to switch to change your, your connection string from worker to server and again I'm, I'm telling you again don't panic don't bother yourself about what is server connection string to be given to you by your host by your hosting provider after you upload your SQL database one and that's all um, this is it and if you like this video please like it and share it and I'm, I'm be happy to hear your comments about, about anything and this is my first video so I'm willing to upload a lot of videos but guys I'm not willing to upload tutorial about C sharp from A to Z I will focus more on specific problems something special something a very common error a very common exceptions and we will and I will upload videos about game programming using XMA more and Unity and for game programming maybe I will try to cover from A to Z and this is it and thank you for watching and see you soon